Kevin Ella from KateSound.com. We are in Studio 1-4. It's crazy because I am in a project. It is right on time when this happened. I decided to revisit a track. This is actually a track that I did about three, four years ago. I have an artist that want to do something to the song, and I don't know where the the stem files to the song is because I need to go in. You you guys know something done three four years ago. We have a different it, things just change over time, right? So I wanted to do a little bit more to the track or change things up or whatever, kind of bring it to the modern sound. And the fact that Studio One Four has chords or chord detection, it I can do this. So this is what we or what I would have had to do before. And that was um, actually listen to the music and try to mimic. And this is what I tried to do here. I have an atmosphere track here. And I tried to redo what I heard, which is not the best idea. And it is time consuming, especially if you don't know how to play. So with the new chord detection, I can right click on this track and I can say detect chords, okay? It's gonna detect the chords for me. It's gonna put them where they think the, the, the chord changes are so it's not necessarily on your ones, twos, threes, four, fives. It's gonna put them where it thinks it is. So, you know, this is this is pretty cool, all right? We're in a, the step, we're in the right direction so far, right? So now the next thing is you want to activate your your chord track so that we can see what's going on. So when we do this, we want to extract the chords and it's just gonna throw them up there for us so we can see, right? Now, here's the first thing that I wanted to do was actually go up here. Okay, there's no way I can just select that. So I just have to click on it and um, you know, that's how I can select. Or I could just come over here, which is cool, and whatever, right? The problem with that is I can't drag any of this down. Now, I, I uh, big ups to Snipe Young from The Produce Market. He did a video kind of showing a little bit as to how this works. And I promise you, he says something that I agree with. I'm like, the first thing I wanted to do was drag and drop. Because Studio One is known for dragging and dropping, right? But you can't do that. But the workaround for this is actually, um, it's another route, which is not that hard. But um, this is what we will have to do. So um, I have to pull up a, a different instrument track, right? Actually, um, uh, I have to insert the note, right? Uh, so basically, uh, again, big ups to Snipe. But um, I'll have to re like it, if I only know one chord, that's that's great. It it, it doesn't even matter. It just I say as long as you get the um, the timing right. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Uh, let's see. Let's go to this Omnisphere track. Let's just do that. So. Let me turn that down. So say I know C. Right? So like this is pretty this is pretty cool because again you don't have to know how to play. I don't know. I'm just gonna pick so say for instance. Right. So, OK, the other other question I'm going to address is if they fix the MIDI problem, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, as we can see now, some, we got the. Hmm. All 
All right, so let's push this back. So I don't think they fixed the MIDI issue. That just sounds horrible. Let's bring that back. Okay, cool. So what we have to do now is, okay, so we have our notes. We got the B flat minor, uh, F minor, and whatever that is. I can't see. That's a A. That's an A flat. A flat major seventh. Okay, so it, it detects seventh notes there. Okay, that's cool. Okay, well, never mind. I didn't think it would detect that. Um, okay, so so that's what we got going on there. And so then the next thing is going over here to where it says parallel. Now let's play the track. You know what? That's not even what I played right here. But that's cool. It sounds great anyway. That's not in there. Wait, let's put that back. <laughs> so let's mute that. But it still sounds good though. Anyway, for the sake of this song, I think I wanted to do the same exact thing. Or I could just go and change this. Like I oh wait, let me make sure I put everything back. So in this instance, I can double click on this this key and put everything back i can say b flat minor where is b flat b flat minor i can just push everything right back for this type of song i will say that it's sort of complex because i am i'm 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 playing a pad sound and some of the notes are sustaining where the top register notes is the only thing that's doing the movement you know what i mean so this chord detection is trying to do a good job in detecting what changes was made. So I think it did a, a, a fairly good job, but I think I think the chord detection will nail it if my chords was broken up. You know what I mean? So um, big ups again to Personas. This is only the beginning, I feel like, for the next three, four years, we'll just con uh, constantly get new updates improving this whole system and um I, I love what they was doing if you guys remember me doing the video before i made some i went on a rant about some things i'm, I'm missing in studio one and they actually came through and asked some things we're going to go ahead and talk about the impact and the sampler in another video thank you guys for watching remember music is art you're the artist paint your picture